Hey guys, welcome back to my Fallout 4 Predators The Concrete Jungle mod series and carrying on from the last video we are continuing the Colonial Marines Adventure mod and this time we head deep into the glowing sea. It has been a few months since the last video and I have also had a bit of a bit of a pain when recording as I seem to get random crashes and now I'm going to have to figure out what is causing these random freezes while I'm playing the game. But anyway, I managed to get some footage recorded and I hope you enjoy. I believe that is the radio tower we need to go to for the to get enter the next APC. Oh my god. Storms are starting. Oh wow. Wow, in this red it looks like hell. Wow. Okay. I, I can bear, literally barely see anything. What is that thing? Come on, Piper. Let's take this thing out. Oh my life, this thing is... Incredibly... What is it doing? Okay, it's having a lie down. Right, where were we? Yes. Wowzers. Okay, I can barely see anything. Jesus Christ, not that much better in this site. Let's go with the red hell. I think, yeah. Where, where on earth? Oh, I see it. There's a radio tower. Okay. We need. I'm gonna use some. Um, even though I'm very resistant to radiation, I need to... Sort that out. Right, I'm going to have to do a quick save here because, as we know from before, the enemies inside these APCs can be quite OP. Well, quite difficult to kill, even. Can I... Yes, I can quick save. Let's quick save now. This doesn't do anything, but... Might as well just extend all the satellites, haven't we? Okay, while we're getting rads here... If I can remember correctly as well... It's like a roll of the dice what enemies you're facing here. So you can face easier enemies. Or more difficult ones. So let's hope let's hope we get lucky this time and there aren't any. No! No, 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 no. I want out of that. That guy has got a machine gun that. I don't like it. Okay. I think if I can remember as well, you can kind of cheese it by re-entering. And sometimes you might only have one enemy in there. Which would be extremely helpful. The, uh, looks like the storm stopped while we're inside the APC. Oh no, I'm dead. See, this is what I mean, man. It's so difficult. So incredibly difficult, man. Okay. Let's reload the quick save. These enemies are so hard. It does recommend... I think the recommended level is 25 to 35 or 30 plus. And I'm 31? 32? Level 32, so... I don't know, man. This just does not like me, this game. Thank you. 
Oh, come on. I nearly, so nearly had him then. I so nearly had the guy then. Oh, the, the guns with this uh, Colonial Marine man. So, so overpowered. Yeah, yeah. I, I am really struggling with this, actually. This is going to be insanely hard to do. Can I get out? Can I get out? Okay, just get out for a second. Jesus Christ. Those weapons do so much damage, man. So much damage. Meanwhile, I've just left Piper in there to deal with. What does that do? Damage resistance, let's go. It's just so you get attacked straight. Not today, Biot. Terminating any hostile platform. Actuator damage. Go away. Oh, come on. Oh, my God. This... So nearly, man. So nearly. That guy. Jesus. It's the weapon. It's the weapon. It's literally the weapon that's the problem. Stop. Oh, yes. He's dropped his weapon. That's it. Get him. Get him, Piper. Finish him off, Piper. Nice one. Gee, Jesus. It does require a little bit of cheese in there, that bit. Right. We've got an, a log for us here. Dropship entry key card. Weaver. Reference to Sigourney. Uh, where are we? I forgot where stuff is half the time. Right, here we go. Cream and Weaver's log. I'm very fortunate to be a part of the expedition. My parents would be so proud of me for going out into the galaxy and exploring new worlds. We have observed some very unique structures, and my current working theory is that this is an alternate reality that we have somehow been pulled into. I have requested the science team on board the Solarco to transmit the sensor data from our journey. As of yet, they have failed to do so. The second day and our arrival at the relay tower is horrible. There is so much radiation, it's insane. Why would they send us down here unprepared for this? Not even one hazmat suit to be used. The radiation is so intense, not sure if we will survive the exposure. Well, clearly they didn't. Just to have it, in, just have to endure it, I guess. We need to try and hurry to get this radio working, and get away from this area. We must get in contact with the Solarco. This world is beyond redemption. We set up a small base camp, and the men have been working on the radio. Let's just hope we make some progress soon. We would have sent out scouting parties, but from the journey here, there is nothing to find but death and, mon and more monsters. Got the radio working just in time to receive the mayday from the Solarco. Xeno's loose on board the ship, and it's crashing down to the planet. Looks like it's time to pack up and head out to that extraction point command told us about. A dropship is locked and ready to launch at the moment's notice. I have the dropship key entry key card on me, but it's going to take us all day and night to pack up and get headed out. Guess I'll get started and try and get out of here ASAP, then get some sleep and start out at daylight. Oh, 
They clearly didn't make it. Their androids went psycho. Oh crap, these giant walking lizard things with horns are attacking. Oh my god, the size of these things are insane. It's killing the man, and with us being sick from the radiation, we have little fight left in us. There is only one chance for us all. There is an extraction point south of Gunners Plaza. There's a dropship located there that can take us to where the Solarco crashed down. Just follow the railroad tracks south from Gunners Plaza. Extraction point is on the tracks. Hey, what's that? Just follow the railroad tracks south from Gunners Plaza. To extraction point is on the tracks. Go now and find the Solarco. Okay. Oh, poor old Sigourney. Right, Piper. There's an alien infestation we need to wipe out. Ah, oh, there's the drop. Yeah. We're gonna have to be super careful now. I have no idea what is going on. I could do with some plasma rounds, you know. going on there? I'm just going to let these guys... This is where the plasma cast comes in handy. No, 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 no. Oh, my life. Oh. Nice. Who? Okay. Ah! Go away! I hate these little... I hate those things, man. Right, where is the Assaultron? So, with the dropship secured, I'm going to go and get some more ammunition and stuff and then next time we will take the dropship and see where it goes and see what's happened to the Solarco and how bad the Xenomorph infestation really is. Anyway guys, thanks for watching and I will see you in the next one.